Here's a tutorial on Trumpet Voluntary. This is from um, page 135 of the Adult Piano Adventures, book one. Okay, so just as a review, um, if we're looking at 134, they're talking about the breakdown of the G7 or 5-7 chord if you're in the key of C major. Um, so this is a chord that is commonly used in classical and pop music, um, but definitely a chord that you want to get very familiar with, with the shaping. Um, the full 5-7 or G7 chord is actually comprised of four notes, the G major plus the seventh. Um, so hence G7, um, but there are definitely other ways that you can play this. Uh, you could play it in this inversion, this inversion, um, but the easiest way to play it from C chord is we do BFG, that's kind of like a, um, they call it inverted or rearranged G7. It's just way easier to get to as opposed to doing that, which is doable, but definitely want um, efficiency uh, with finding different chords, especially if you're doing lead sheet, um, which there are quite a few lead sheet uh, practice pieces in this book. So that being said, uh, if we're looking at our piece, Trumpet Voluntary, we have those two chords right away. And always remembering that even though they share the G between the two chords, you need to re-hit all the notes when you're going from one chord to the next. So we don't want to do a hold of any kind. I mean, you do want to hold for four beats, but don't hold into the next uh, measure. Um, the melody does have right or a little bit of left hand involved. So typically how I like to start off with this piece is just playing the melody, um, which is, yeah, most of the piece is the melody. And then there's like a few occasional chords. So let's go over melody first. So that is our main melody. Um, so just making sure when you're doing the melody, like for example, at the top of the piece, uh, top line, first line, we definitely don't want to do this. Like whacking the thumb. So since it's at the end of the slur, end of the phrase, less on the pinky is preferred. Um, this is also the same when you get to measure 11 and 12. Just a little lighter touch on that left hand. Um, okay, and then as you heard, the melody does go into the left hand further at measure five. Keeping that all connected. So think of the seesaw. Right, left, right. Okay, the one line that um, 
might need a little more practice, uh, and that's because of just the way it's written with the skips. Uh, so if you want to circle the skips, definitely do so at 13. So we have C skip, step, skip, step, skip. So I would highlight that in my practice. And meanwhile, we do have accents in the opening with the pinky. Playing on the tip of the pinky is best. Develop those strong finger joints. So yeah, that'll be good practice as well. So playing on the tip versus the whole pinky or half the pinky. All right, now um, all you have to do once you get the melody down is to add in the chords. So we have. And then measure nine, same thing. And then we have a little harmony going on at 13. Rest, rest. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and play the whole piece with both hands so you can hear what it sounds like. And then um, I'll have one more note to add and then we'll try the duet. to add is the fact that we have these half rests and whole rests uh, written within the piece. Um, it is easy to want to extend these long chords through into the next time you have to hit a left hand note. So I'm looking at specifically measure three and four. You could do that, but you do want to lift off to acknowledge that half rest at the beginning of measure four. Off. Right, left, right. So circling those rests, just being extra mindful that we don't want to linger on a finger going into the next measure because half rests and whole rests are just as important. Um, and then last thing I wanted to add at 13, noticing that those notes are going up by step together can help with the coordination. to write finger numbers there to help you or just remember that once you get this downbeat the rest when you do it together it's going up by step all right i'm going to go ahead and play the duet so you can either do octave higher or stay here uh, up to you and i will give you the count off and then we will begin so one two three four 